This game is just like real life, in that the more pieces you cut something into, the better it gets. We're gonna start with fruit, but hopefully eventually we can spawn some people. And I do love the games where I can just press go and sit back and relax, I've already won. We worked very hard for this upgrade point, so we're gonna spend it on extra conveyor. This is getting complicated already, so try and pay attention. Some of the fruit drops down, some of it slides straight in. The powers of observation tell me that if it gets cut, it falls to the lower conveyor. If it stays in a whole half fruit, it slides in for money. It seems we've leveled up again, increase the income of our fruit by 10%. We do have several hundred dollars, so it's time for apples. The oranges are worth one, the apples are worth two. When they get cut into pieces, their individual pieces are worth their value. We're learning so much about fruit today, it's the first time I've ever seen it. I feel like I can win just by leveling up a lot and spending my upgrade points on extra 30% for fruit value. That takes the value of oranges from one to one. But I must be doing something right because we can already level up this again. And then when it comes to whatever these things are, those should get a nice boost in money. I think it's a peach, but I'm not entirely sure. But the peach by itself is worth 8. I believe it started at 5. Increasing the value of oranges probably makes a lot of sense because we just took its value from 1 all the way up to 21. Now we're going to make money a little bit faster. We're also going to increase the experience of each fruit by 10%. So if you direct your attention to the blue bar up top, we're going to be leveling up quicker than ever for even more profits. Next, we're going to buy the shower head for $1,300. Those are worth $25 to begin with, and if we upgrade them, those quickly become $76. It's basically just raining money on us. Then we can reduce the cost of each route by 5%. We're going to buy 6 of those at a time because we don't really have a choice. Well, since we have $5,000, let's increase the shower head price several more times. The more we touch, the more money we're going to make, just like in real life. Eventually, we can hit the PP button. That's going to help us prestige. We're not there yet because this is really easy money so far. I didn't realize I can hit the first button to get an extra conveyor, so we're probably going to do that because now we have a chance to cut the fruits into even smaller pieces. And if they make it down here, getting cut into all of these, each of these individual pieces is worth a fortune. Not to brag, but I'm probably going to be the first trillionaire off of fruit. And next we're going to buy uh, oranges again, it looks like, and we can already upgrade that twice. That's worth $151. Oh, it's a green orange. So the more those little rascals get cut up into pieces, the more money we're definitely going to make. We're going to spend six of our 29 points, increasing root value by another 10%. We're going to do that twice. Because now our green oranges are worth 173 if we buy an upgrade 259 each. <laughs> but we're not going to stop there. We're never going to stop. $350 per green orange. So this little cluster right here is worth well over a thousand dollars. We probably need another conveyor too, so now we have a chance to cut them into even smaller pieces. They're basically just crumbs. We're selling crumbs of fruit for massive profit. Eventually we're literally going to be selling particles. Single particles of fruit for a trillion dollars, because that's how good we are at business. This is the most expensive upgrade, so we have to assume it's very good. Increases the chance to double fruit creation by 3%. The next most expensive upgrade costs 8, and we have 8. The puzzle fits. Increase the chance to buy two fruits at a time by 3%. Look at all the little pieces we're getting. We're already getting so rich. $40,000. Okay, next we're going to buy a wagon wheel. That is most definitely a fruit. It's $259 in its most basic value. I wonder where all of these come from. They're probably being picked under very poor conditions if it's anything to do with my factories. Like the people creating these, they don't have a choice. And when they get tired and wine, we just push them onto the conveyors and we sell them for profit. Well, at least pieces of them. 13 upgrade points to spend. Uh, let's increase our experience by quite a lot. That way we can get even more of these upgrades. We can also get another conveyor that costs 18 points. We've saved up the $140,000. That's enough for the triangle fruit. It also sort of looks like a nose. It's worth as much as the upgraded wagon wheels to begin with. It's very expensive to upgrade, but we've got time to get there. For now, we're going to upgrade the green oranges. And when we run out of money for green oranges, we just work our way up, clicking on everything we can. This is all going to add up to huge profit over time. Look how much we can upgrade this one. Pretty sure for some of these, we're making money way faster than we can spend it, so we need to upgrade them a lot to uh, price them out. Look at that, 33 upgrade points. We could buy another conveyor. This extra conveyor is going to allow us to stab and penetrate the fruit, which is obviously a very important part of the refining process. A penetrated fruit is a valuable fruit. The triangle fruit needs an upgrade. It's going to be a $1,600. The next fruit's 700000 so it's going to take a second to save up that kind of money. But we're producing a lot of fruit, so that's going to work out just fine. We leveled up, so we got a lot of points. We're going to upgrade the value of each fruit by 10%. 
20%. We're also going to increase the chance of getting double value from a fruit by 3%. At some point, these might be falling so far and taking so long to get to where they're going, we might actually be better off just to put them straight in here. But we're not here to make sense and make good decisions, I'm here to click on green buttons until I can't click on them anymore. Because ever since I was a little kid, I told myself, When I grow up, I want to sit there and watch numbers get bigger. It is very satisfying to watch them go through the whole process and just work their way into smaller and smaller and more valuable pieces. Like that's gotta be, those are $35,000 each. Let's give ourselves more experience per fruit. We're gonna need more of that because level ups are getting harder and harder to get. For our remaining six points, increase the chance of getting double experience from fruits by 3%. I am getting lots of achievements and I'm pretty happy about that because in real life I get no achievements. We have actually made almost a million dollars somehow. Actually very close to a million dollars. So we're gonna buy the oval fruit at this point. Once we officially hit a million dollars and we bought the oval fruit, that's worth $5,200. The upgrades for it are a million dollars, but we've already made 450,000 back. So this is the one we need to try and make it all the way to the bottom on. Okay, we got a good setup going here. This is pieces of them here. They got sawed, so they're going even lower. I kind of lost track of them in this mess. Uh, hopefully some of the pieces probably got in there. It's a little hard to say. They all turn into dots. We're now up to $1.6 million, so let's upgrade the overfruit again. While I was watching fruit roll down the conveyor, we leveled up several times, so now we can get another conveyor if we want. This is a max level conveyor, so if things get all the way down to here, they go into whatever this thing is. It's asking a lot for fruit to hit everything along the way to make it to that point, but these ones might do it. They get stabbed, good, they're gonna make it in and we'll see what finally happens. They go into the, uh, that and it slowly fills up. We got a whole bunch of extra stuff coming in. Not sure how valuable that is and those went on by. What happened to those? <laughs> they turn into a block ultimately, $90,000. So our ultimate goal of processing fruit is to cut it into a billion particles and then put it back into a brick and sell it. But I'm quite sure uh, by the time anything makes it to here, it's worth an absolute fortune. That was 300 grand. Plus, we can increase the price of that by 10%, and that would now be worth $330,000. I feel like I need to produce more fruit, though, to make sure uh, more stuff makes it all the way down here, because it's low odds of things actually getting that far. So basically this one, increase the chance to create two fruits at a time by 3%. I just need like 100 levels of that. Also, I'm going to increase the income of our oval fruit twice. It's now worth $14,000 base value. Now I feel like every time I look up, I have at least a million dollars. So here we go. This costs 7 points to get a 3% chance of double fruits. We now have a 6% chance of double fruits. I've also blinked in have $3.3 million, so some of the good stuff must have made it to the bottom. All the way down here, so that can all get sold for an absolute fortune. That brick's got to be worth a lot of money. $520,000, 4.4 million. We're going to buy the superior shower head. Turns out it's green. The green shower head is our new most valuable thing. It's worth $8,300 in its base form. But I'm probably also overdue to work my way back up the green clicking list. Uh, just because I can upgrade these a ton. And that's going to make a big difference. After patiently waiting, we're about ready to level up yet again. 31 points. So we're going to increase the chance for double fruits. More times we now have a 15% chance to get double fruits. So that's more fruit making it to the end. Look at all the value down there. That was like a million dollars in that little cluster. We have 12 million dollars. So we can upgrade the green shower head. $24,000 for those in our base value. Now if we knock them down into like 16 pieces. That's a huge amount of money for a single fruit. This is very satisfying. And the second strangest thing I've cut into pieces today. I'm also going to spend 25 points. Increasing a chance to get double income. But uh from fruit that's now at 12% and with the amount of fruit we're dealing with that's going to be a huge boost to income. It definitely still annoys me a lot how much basic fruit's getting in right here. If we cut it once that doubles our profit immediately. Another level up, increase the chance to double fruit creation speed by 3% so we're definitely going to buy a few levels of that. I'm just trying to create one avalanche of fruit. I want a steady stream falling down. One short daydream later we have 22 million dollars so I'm going to buy the shield fruit. That is already worth as much as the green shower head. And that just means even more fruit making its way down the conveyors, hopefully getting cut up into a million small pieces. Increase the chance to double fruit creation speed by 3%? Yes. I think it's wise at this point to spend $50 million upgrading our basic oranges. Spoiler alert, that was not wise. They are worth $173, but that's pretty insignificant now. Though we do have a lot of pieces getting down here to fill up that thing. I'm not sure if the valuable pieces went into the machine or not. That was a million dollar block. 16 copies later, $72 million and a whole bunch of experience points. 
So let's put a bunch of points into increasing the chance of producing double fruits. And increased chance to double fruit itself, that should add a lot of extra fruit. And then we're going to put our $76 million into the shield fruit as many times as we can. It's now worth $100,000 each. So once it gets cut in half, it's $200,000. If it gets speared by a spike, it's $400,000. And that's going to continue multiplying until the bottom. I'm also going to spend some time upgrading the triangle fruit and whatever else I can, just because it's easy money. These big clusters of text and money really make me feel alive. But we've only made about $14 million in the past 60 seconds, so that's not good enough for me. In other words, it's PP time. If we're prestige now, we're going to gain 604 prestige points, which means 604% extra earnings. So now our basic oranges are worth $7 from the beginning, so already we're able to buy a lot of them. Now they're already $28, so it's, uh, each one of those will buy itself an upgrade easily. We could probably actually make a great fortune because the price of oranges is staying ahead of the upgrade price. I also feel like we're leveling up a lot. I'm not going to touch that button yet because it's too amusing just to do oranges right now. The upgrade price has gone beyond the income, so we'll do the same for the apple. We've already got the price of the apple up to $240, which brings us to the peach. $707 for an upgrade, but we've already got many thousands. Uh, of course, increasing the number of conveyors would definitely help. But also the experience per fruit is going to be a big one because we're going to need a lot of experience through this process, but the extra conveyor is going to add so much money. It's watermelon time. Those are already worth $760. So we're going to get some extra fruit experience. And well, we're probably going to keep getting extra fruit experience. I feel like the green oranges are going to be a big, big earner for us. And I actually like only having two conveyors because the fruit gets to where it's going quickly. We got 13 points, so we're going to increase our experience gain by a full 20%, and that's huge. We have two points left over, so the income of fruit's going up by 10%. That's also huge, because now when we buy the wagon wheel, it's already $1,300 per wagon wheel. So let's increase that another 10, 20%. $1,500 per wagon wheel. Then we're going to do the green oranges a few more times. Those are worth $4,000 each. So we're going to make sure to buy lots of wagon wheels. $6,000 each. And we're going to increase the experience gain by another 20%. It's still only 556 experience to level up. And I'm pretty sure the nose fruit is going to be worth even more experience. That cost $160,000 to buy. But once we sell and process even just 40 of those, we've more than paid for itself. Probably time for another conveyor though, just so we can get a little bit more money out of each and every every fruit. Speaking of which, uh, let's get an extra 10% profits on top of all of that. Look at it all shuffling in there. Look at all that money. Let's add another conveyor yet again. Now we're mashing that fruit into little squares, but that's even more and more money. Really quickly, we could buy the oval fruit. Those are worth $14,400. So basically, like if even one of those makes it to the bottom, we're going to get like a billion dollars. This whole thing seems to run in some kind of magic. The conveyor belts are moving, but the wheels are not turning at all. They just kind of slide along the outside. For the experience points, so we're going to increase our experience a lot more. We're also going to increase the income of our oval fruit. That's up to $30,000 each. 30. Speaking of value, let's increase the value of our fruits by a further 30%. Three of our individual fruits are worth over $10,000 to sell at this point. We've got 20 points, so we're going to add another conveyor just for a little extra money. And then we're going to have 3% chance to get double income from some of our fruits. So when these things get hoovered up and put into the balls, that's where the big money is going to come in. I completely checked out for a moment, but now we got $5 million so we can buy the green shower head. Those are worth $50,000 each. And apparently something is worth a lot of experience because we got 35 points to spend on another conveyor and then more profits. We're also going to increase the chance of getting double experience by 3%. You never know when that's going to be relevant. If we can get some of those pieces, that's going to be valuable. So if they get cut up again, I think that little pink ball is where they went. That's got to be a few bucks. Let's also get two levels of increasing fruit creation speed. So 6% chance to get double speed. While that was happening in the background, we're going to increase the green showerhead value a lot, $111,000 each. And if we do that again, $166,000 each. So we're going to get rich just on those, really. We've leveled up again. Let's increase the chance of getting double experience, because that's just going to lead to more profits down the road. Also, a slightly better chance of double income. Should probably spend some points reducing the cost of fruit, because that's actually going to make a really big difference. Buying those made me able to buy the red shield fruit, probably also known as a strawberry. I think we need cheaper prices again, so we knock them down to 77%. Probably not going to touch that button again, but things are much cheaper. Strawberries get an upgrade. $333,000 each. Three of those is a million dollars. 28 points means we can spend 26 on another conveyor. So now whatever makes it down there hopefully gets shredded into itty bitty pieces like that. 
then it's going to be worth more than ever before. We're about to spend $90 million on a single fruit. It is worth $500,000 each though, so I feel like that's going to add her to some serious experience. We're also going to increase the chance to produce two fruits at a time, because if we get two of those, that's big, big money. And I feel like we have plenty of fruit rolling down at this point. We just need to make sure they get all the way to the bottom. I'm pretty sure the final fruit is the mushroom we find in Mario that's either going to make us big or small. Then I'm pretty sure if we buy a second level of that, those should be worth a million dollars each. They are a little bit slow to produce, but at a million dollars each, we're not really going to complain. They might in fact be a lemon, so we're going to watch them as they go. That one got uh, put up into spikes. Then it got sawed. This is good. Is it going to get mulched? Well, one little piece got mulched. The other one just turned into like 80 million dollars, so that's fine too. Pretty sure that was the end of the lemon. But for all those millions of dollars, uh, we could upgrade the strawberry again. That added a 200,000 dollars per strawberry. And those produce quickly. And after that level up, we need another conveyor belt. Not a ton of things are going to make it down this far, but when they do, it's worth an absolute fortune. Think for example, these guys. Those guys didn't even get cubed. There's a big block of money. This one brick. 125 million dollars and i'm gonna spend some points increasing a chance to get double fruits i haven't really even been paying attention but suddenly we have almost 300 million dollars in the bank pretty sure these pieces are the very valuable lemons so we're gonna increase the price of them twice really quickly just so when this brick goes in we really get our money's worth i just hope i was right about that being a lemon that's worth 13.5 million so i was wrong but lemons are worth 2 million dollars so i'm not really gonna complain i'm also gonna increase the price of strawberries and i'm just gonna work my way up the list right now that's just gonna give us higher earnings than ever before quite easily increased chance to create two fruits at a time that's now up to 15 percent we're going to increase the chance of getting double income from a fruit, so those will pair off each other very well. I know that there is lemon somewhere in here that's very valuable. That might have been it at the end. We might have a whole bunch of lemons sitting here. Now if we could get sucked up, never mind. It will go into here for probably big amounts of money. But that's okay because we're sitting at $380 million, which is enough to buy the Mario Mushroom. That's worth $1.5 million each. And it's easier to keep an eye on because it looks very unique. So we'll be able to see wherever it is. We're going to increase our value by 20%. And we've actually already made half a billion dollars, so we're going to increase their value so they're now worth $3.3 million each. Increase the chance to buy two fruits at a time? Yes, we now have a 12% chance of that happening. I think that actually happened here with a double lemon, because there's a lot of lemon pieces there. And I'm pretty sure a lot of those lemon pieces made it down into this machine, so this brick might actually be worth a lot. Well, watch it as it slides in. 888,000, not nearly as much as I thought. But you know what, that's okay, because we're officially billionaires, which means we can upgrade our Mario Mushroom again, they're worth $5 million each. And then we'll increase the chance of getting double income. And we're going to increase the price of Mario Mushrooms again, $6.7 million each. So even when they only make it like this far, they're still worth an absolute fortune. Like, we can really consistently buy the lemons now for $157 million. that's no problem. We're level 30 now with 32 experience points, we're going to increase the chance of double income by a lot. And somehow we made $1.2 billion. I don't know what just happened, but I'm not going to complain. I wisely let the game play itself for a few minutes. $9.2 billion. So let's upgrade the Mario Mushroom. They are now worth $17 million each. And we're also going to do the Lemon. $7 million each. Then with our 68 upgrade points, we're going to increase the chance to double fruit creation speed. So one in five of those is going to have a double production speed. And all those upgrades mean we basically made a billion dollars back instantly. I feel like we've won the game at this point. We're making stupid amounts of money non-stop. Like this will be just a random brick going in at the end. Those guys are worth $35,000 each. The brick is worth $385 million, and that was garbage fruit. If I press the PP button at this point, we're going to get 6400%. So that means if we were to restart, the orange is already worth $71 instead of 1. So all of those instead of being worth 1 is worth 284. And at this point, I'm pretty sure we could just work our way all the way down the list in no time at all. And because there's something wrong with me, I saved up $2.2 billion to see how much the Mario Mushroom would be worth. Turns out with a few quick clicks, $42 million per mushroom. So I think we won the clicking game today.